Hey chess lovers, welcome back to the chess yard. This is Dhere Bagga and today I'll be playing the final blitz only chess and during the game I'll try to be as instructive as possible like always, making sure that there's something to be taken away as a learning that helps you improve your game to the next level. Now before we start off with the game, I request you to subscribe to my channel and press on the bell icon so that you don't miss out on any of the videos that I'm posting up daily without a miss. So let's start off with the game and see how it goes. Which pieces we get? For the black pieces, I'll play the Karukan defense, which starts with c6, fought by d5. Trying to go for center after playing c6. Opponent has advanced the pawn here. I can play f, bishop f5, trying to develop my bishop early. And then playing e6, so that the bishop is out of the pawn chain is important. Now, a uh, couple of things we can do. We'll start off with knight to d7, and then with the idea of pushing the pawn forward maybe sometime. Uh, I can exchange the bishop or bring it back. Uh, let's bring it back. If pawn forward, I can take a force. So, open would not do that. Okay, he's trying to defend uh, the c5, which is about to be weakened up. After I go here, he takes. He can exchange, actually. I don't mind doing that. Let's do it. If he wants to really take. Doesn't take. Uh, I can either push pawn forward or I can take. Either is fine. Uh, or I can just continue developing my stuff. So rook c8 is a good option. Uh, always eyeing the open file, which it's not the open file right now, but it can be opened up in one move straight away. Okay, so now he's pressurizing. Uh, how is bishop here? Because after he takes and I take back, he has to move the knight. Knight goes somewhere here. And then queen comes with a check, spoiling the casting. Not the knight, uh, but the queen. That is one way of playing. Or I can straight away take the bishop. Um, now let's do it this way. So that at least we take and give a check as well. Spoil is casting at least. If the opponent sees it, he won't take. And he saw that coming. And did he just give his rook in instead? Well, that's a horrible move. He tried to defend the situation but lost the rook there. So that's a blunder. Okay, takes a pawn there. Uh, but loses the knight on the other hand. So it comes with a check. Bishop comes back. Uh, okay. Oh, what do we do now? I can take this pawn. Hmm. Okay. Let's take this. We are threatening to take this as well. Next. Uh, this is completely okay. We can take this with the knight maybe. Knight looks good actually controlling everything. I can take with the king. It's pushing pawns forward. Mm -hmm. Let's kick this bishop back first. How's rook here? I need to move my bishop somewhere. Maybe here for now. Trying to give a check. Maybe exchange queens if required. It takes a pawn. I can take that as well. So the pawns are pretty much controlled. So nothing to be bothered about there. Okay. How do I stop him? I start with rook here first. With the ideas of controlling... Uh, any threats here and now maybe bishop here controls uh, the queen he's trying to castle and we don't want him to castle so I'll start with if I play queen gives check he goes up wait let me just give it the bishop first attacking the queen uh, the only square, 
queen goes is back. Can I still attack the queen? Queen goes back. It's trying to exchange. And if opponent is trying to exchange, let's exchange. That's completely okay. I've got a knight which is active too. Knight comes here, threatening the pawn. Gives away the pawn. Knight here would mean some exchange, maybe. Okay, so attacking the bishop, I'll safeguard it first. Can take if he wants to, doesn't. Gives away the rook instead. That's blunder number X. He's still playing because he's winning on time is what he's thinking. But Rook is coming here. Uh, he resigns. That was too nasty. Let's analyze the game quickly. Started off with uh, E4. I responded with C6. Followed by F4 and pawn to D5. Um, here the opponent plays E5 and... I played bishop f5, trying to develop the bishop first, always the best move. And then knight comes out on f3. Here I played e6 first. He goes for the center by playing d4. I can go for the pawn break straight away. But I prefer getting one more piece out, the knight to d7, so that I have a couple of attackers and defenders here. Tries to exchange the bishop. I don't do that. Bring it back on g6. He develops the other bishop on e3. I Try to break open the position by playing c5. Opponent plays c3. Now I can take here or I can develop the knight. I chose first to place rook on the file, which will be opened up eventually. And here opponent plays g4. Now g4 uh, is very bad, I would say, generally because you haven't castled your king yet, and you're expanding too much on the uh, on the queen's on the king side where you could have actually castled. Even if you don't want to castle on the queen's on the king side. Make sure your minor pieces and the queen are out of the way so that you can castle on the queen side very early if there's some threats coming straight away. I try to play a, a tricky move here. So yes, I can take. That was one option. If I take, he takes with the queen. And I can probably play pawn forward as well. That could be one move. Uh, or I can go for pawn break, uh, asking him to take or proceed further. So things can go in a different direction from there. But uh, my idea here was for playing bishop to e4 that if he now takes with the bishop, that is a bad thing for him because I'll take this first. Knight goes, I was thinking knight will go here, but this was also okay. And oh, this this saves, the this actually loses me a pawn. But he can't take it actually because I, I come with a check next. So I can just try to threaten the knight and take this. I take this and he can probably... I, I think he'll take with the pawn, trying to connect the pawns there. I can give a check, uh, which now can be defended with the bishop. Uh, I can attack from the other side of the board, but then knight comes in. We can exchange some stuff, but probably will not win anything there. So he could have controlled it this way. Uh, but rather what he went with was knight to g5. That's completely losing because rook is hanging there. I took the rook. He takes a pawn. Uh, yes, I can take this as well, because after I take and he takes, I come with a check and now this bishop is hanging. But instead, uh, I didn't exchange, but rather went with queen. Uh, he tries to defend, I take the pawn there. He takes the bishop, I take with the uh, king there. I, yes, the right move, because the knight is pretty good here. It's, it's defending the c5. Uh, if some pawn activity happens here, I can take... Maybe even take uh, e5 sometime with the knight. So knight is pretty much rightly placed, so you have to take with the king. Uh, here the opponent plays f5. Uh, I proceed with c4, trying to kick that bishop away. Bishop goes back to c2. I place a bishop on g2. He takes the pawn. I take back. What was the best move? Oh, getting the queen active. Okay. Uh, I didn't see that move coming, so I just tried to drop the rook there. Giving, uh, threatening the queen there with the bishop, and then bishop back attacking the queen. Queen comes uh, to g1, looking for exchange. I did exchange. I let him. 
uh, and then I went with the knight. And Harry castles, loses on the pawn in the process. Tries to attack my bishop, I bring it back on e4, trying to exchange that, but instead he places rook there and I take and it's it's game over. I hope you like the video. Uh, do let me know your feedback uh, and do comment and keep watching and sharing. Uh, do subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Thank you so much for your time. Take care. Bye-bye.